With the Arab Spring having turned into Arab chaos, with the weakening military will and capability of several Middle Eastern nations that Ezekiel mentions as being aligned with Gog when Israel is invaded, coupled with the seeming, uh, what seems to be many of the sudden, to many, the sudden Russian show of strength on the world stage, Crimea, uh, and a weakened U.S. military and support for Israel. What are your, I was waiting for the question here. Uh, what are your thoughts on the probable timing of Ezekiel's Russian invasion where God shows himself supernaturally protecting his people? Well, immediately, see, this is what the discipline of truth is. Where in the world would it say anything about that? See, that's what we're supposed to know. Not the professionals, we're supposed to know that. That's what the discipline of truth is. When you hear of something, it should draw your mind to some portion of the Bible because you've read the Bible enough, you know it better than your sports statistics, more than you know, you know the, the latest goings-on of uh, uh, Bonnie and I were trapped in traffic going between two points in Los Angeles, and finally we found out what it was. It was one of these, and we were actually cutting between two places and ended up on Hollywood Boulevard, and it was a premiere, and all these black limousines, and people were getting out in their little gowns, you know, and police were everywhere. And I said, wonder what that is, you know? We're so out of touch, and it was some premiere of some movie. But boy, if you talk about this, I know where it is. See, where is your treasure? Is it in heaven? Then you know the word of God. Is it on earth? You, you know what premiere it was in Hollywood last week. Um, the two places you look are Ezekiel 38 and 39 and Daniel 9. So quick, open your Bibles, and we have exactly eight minutes, and I'll try and answer this uh, fast. When I was little, they used to have uh, 16 and a half, 33, 45, and 78, I think, were the speeds of the record player, which was a flat pancake thing that spun with a needle. And so we will go from, I've been going at 16 and 33, we'll go 45 and 78 soon. So the question is, do Russia, the Arab Muslims, and the current events fit anywhere in Daniel 9? First of all, what is Daniel 9? Here's Daniel 9. I printed it out for you. Daniel 9, 24. 70 weeks, and I would add that the Bible shows us that actually is not 77-day weeks but it's 70 heptads of 490 years. And I'll show you why. Upon thy people, little interpretation, that's the Jews, thy holy city, Jerusalem. So God says, basically, I have 490 years planned for the Jewish people in the city of Jerusalem to do all these things. Okay, now look at the next verse. Now, therefore, and understand, from the going forth of the command to restore. And if you know anything about history, you know that in about... 445 B.C., the Persian, Iranian, king made a decree. You can read about it in, in uh, uh, the last chapter of Ezra, and you can read about it in the first chapter of uh, Second Corinth or Chronicles. But this decree goes out to rebuild the, the city of Jerusalem's walls and the temple. And... Uh, from that point, 445 B.C., and you can look that up. By the way, I checked. I always say this, and I checked this morning, went to Wikipedia. First thing, right there, in that collect all of a lot of junk. They had the right date in there, praise the Lord. On to Messiah the King. We know that's about 30 A.D. Jesus was crucified. Shall be, now look at this, set, we have to do a little math within sets and closed sets, okay? Three score is 60 and two. So 60 plus 7 plus 2. So there's something going on for 69 of these weeks. And what will happen is the streets will be built of Jerusalem, the wall of Jerusalem, and troublesome times.